Hello, my name is Mark Wilner. And my name is Scott Craig, and we are the brothers of the professional pharmacy fraternity Phi Delta Chi, Beta Gamma Chapter from the Milan School of Pharmacy at Duquesne University, located here in Pittsburgh, PA. In today's episode of Know Your Drug, we will be discussing Valtrex, also known as Valacyclovir. Valtrex is commonly prescribed for the treatment of the herpes zoster virus, also known as shingles, treatment and suppression of genital herpes, and reduction of herpes transmission. Today, we will be highlighting the importance of using Valtrex in the treatment of genital herpes. Genital herpes is a sexually transmitted disease caused by the herpes simplex virus. It affects both men and women and is characterized by symptoms such as small red bumps, blisters, and open sores in the genital, anal, or nearby areas. During an ulcer outbreak, other symptoms such as painful urination, tenderness in the genital area can be present. There is no cure for the infection and the disease can be contagious even when the characteristic lesions are not present. Valtrex is a member of a class known as antiviral agents, which bind to viral DNA, preventing its synthesis and thus preventing viral replication. Other drugs in this class include Zovirax, also known as acyclovir, Cytovine, known as Gancyclovir, and Valcite, known as Valgancyclovir. These drugs all vary in degree, such as strength, potency, dosing, or duration of action. Valtrex is a prodrug, meaning it gets converted by the body into the active drug form. Valtrex is converted into acyclovir and further into acyclovir triphosphate. This final active form of the drug acts with a viral protein called D viral DNA polymerase. This inhibits viral replica replication. Valtrex dosing is based on the current state of the herpes episode. For an initial episode, the dosing is 1 gram twice daily for 10 days. For recurrent episodes, the dose is 500 milligrams twice daily for 3 days. To reduce transmission, the infected partner should take 500 milligrams once daily. The doses may be taken with or without food. Precautions should be used to further decrease the risk of transmission. When first starting Valtrex, it is important to maintain your follow-up visits with your physician to ensure drug effectiveness without serious side effects. These visits may include urinalysis, serum, creatinine, and lizard enzyme tests. While taking Valtrex, it is important to be aware of headaches, nausea, abdominal pain, and neutropenia. All allergic reaction may occur to the drug. This is characterized by difficulty breathing and numbness in the face. If this occurs, notify your doctor or pharmacist immediately. If a dose is missed, take the dose as soon as you remember. If it is close to the next dose, skip the missed dose and take the next regularly scheduled dose when it is time to do so. Some potential drug interactions to be mindful of include mycophenolate, also known as Celsep, which increases the concentration of Valtrex in the blood. Valtrex also increases the concentration of Celsep in the blood. Another interaction includes Viride, which takes longer to leave the body when taken with Valtrex. Notify your doctor or pharmacist of any prescription herbal or over-the-counter medications you take to ensure there are no serious interactions with your medications. If used appropriately, Valtrex has been proven effective in reducing the recurrence and severity of general herpes outbreaks. As stated before, precautionary measures should be taken to prevent transmission to your partner. Always remember, pharmacists are the drug experts. Utilize them to ensure you are receiving the best pharmaceutical care possible and to know your drug. On behalf of Phi Delta Chi and Duquesne University, my name is Mark Wilner. And I am Scott Craig. And this has been Know Your Drug.